Hi guys, Bookie here. Welcome back to my channel. And today, this is the look that I'm doing for you guys. It's a nice, smoky look. It's a mocha golden brown kind of look with a nice red ombre lip. And yeah, it's a very, very dramatic look, guys, as you can see. Okay. It's uh, good for clubbing, you know. You want to get your freak on. Get your freak on. Get your freak on. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah, I'm trying to get my freak on. Okay, so this is what we're doing and we're walking to the club today. I really think, I mean, it's not obviously an everyday look, but you know, it's good for form and it's also good for clubs. So, hey girls, and girl, please, if you are comfortable rocking this a look on a regular day, please feel free to rock it. And I'm a thumbs you up, give it to you. But for me, you know, it's too dramatic for a regular day, so I would rock this to a club and yeah that's pretty much what i think and yeah feel free guys let me know what you think about this look if you like it let me know put comments down in the description box and yes everything i used will be in the description box as well and yeah if you would see how i got this look please continue to watch bye guys bye guys so as you can see i already went in and filled out my brows I used the um, wet and wild brow pencil. I can really find my Anastasia Beverly Hills today. So next, I'm gonna prime my lid, and I'm gonna be using my concealer. This is um, NC42 Mac Studio Finish. Guys, I find that this is also really good for your shadows. It really helps keep them locked in the whole day so I'm just gonna use this to prime my lid today now I'm gonna go into my Z palette with my makeup big shadows and I'm gonna go I'm gonna take this really nice warm brown <clears throat> and I'm gonna use that as my transition color because we're going for a really intense look today because it's a club you know it's a club look so I'm gonna start off with this brown. I'm just doing this with a nice fluffy blending brush. And I'm just gonna drag that out a little bit. Next, I'm going to go into this wet and wild palette and I'm going to take this dark brown and I'm going to put that in my crease area just to, you know, give me more dark, intense look. So, I'm just going to pop that right here. I'm doing this with a pencil brush from MAC. Just put it in my crease area and just draw out the outer V. That. Just gonna bring that in because I also have hooded lids, so I have to fake my my crease area. Bring that in, and I'm gonna blend it out with the same blending brush from before because we're not gonna leave it like that. It's not cute. Blend that out. So to make my shadow that I'm gonna be using to make it pop more, I'm gonna put the Inglot Gel Liner on my lid all over so that I can my color can pop out somewhere. So 
now I'm gonna go to my Morph palette, Morphe palette. And this is 35U. I'm gonna take this really nice, kind of brownish gold color. And I'm gonna pop that on my lid. Okay, I'm using the MAC. It's a concealer brush, but I like it because it's gonna just it's good for me to it's gonna help me pack on my shadow very well. I'm just gonna put that right there. I'm just gonna pat that on. brush I'm gonna put a black shadow right here so we can intensify my look this is just gonna make it more dramatic and also shape it on my and I'm gonna blend that out with the Sigma E40 brush. I'm gonna drag it in. Now I'm gonna go back in with the same brown, warm brown color from the beginning, and I'm gonna put right back in my crease area. Just gonna put it right back in here. Next, I'm gonna line my eye with the Inglot Gel Liner, and I'm using the MAC Angle Liner Brush. Next, I'm using a NYC Mascara. Abelia. So moving on to the face, I'm going to prime my face with the Smashbox. This is a sample, so I just wanted to see how it works, really. I get it. Just let me see how it works. I'm gonna conceal my dark spots. I'm using the Still Finish Concealer in the uh, NW45. Next, I'm gonna go in with my NARS. This is a match sheer matte and this is a very old old foundation they replaced it with a new one so yeah i'm gonna, use I'm gonna this. apply it with my beauty blender
T-zone area. I'm gonna do my under eye, my nose, cupid's bowl, my chin. I'm gonna be using the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. This is in the shade NC42. I'm gonna use the same beauty blender to apply this. and I'm going to be using black upper and this is a beautiful bronze. Next I'm going to be setting my concealer on under eye, bridging my nose, keep his bowl and chain with the Ben Nye powder. This is in banana. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques sponge to do this. And I love using a sponge because being on this flat surface is really good. It allows me to Put my powder right where I want it. Powder with this brush. This is brushed by Jess, by the way. I'm wondering. Yes, guys, we're gonna have to take this off. We cannot go out like this. Next, I'm gonna set my contour with this peach cosmetics powder. This is in color 255. So now I'm going to set my entire face with the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And this is in the NC45. I'm using this stippling brush. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set my entire face. Next, I'm gonna be using this very rosy pinky shade from my Shiny Palette Blush Palette. I'm gonna just pop that color and I'm gonna just put on my cheek. Guys, I promise this is not painful. This is the way I can get into my wild night. Now I'm gonna smoke it up with a black shadow. Remember, this is a dramatic look. The smoky eye, dramatic look. two highlighters today. I'm going to be using the Sephora Stardust and I'm going to be using Laura Gila and I'm going to be using the Gilded Honey. First I'm going to use Sephora. Put that right. Put that right. 
guys putting too much. Before this red, I usually use um, Ruby Woo and oh my god, look at how red this stuff is, oh my god, oh my god guys, look at this. the face, let's not forget that. I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah this is the look here it is once more and my hair again is from sister wigs it's um I know it's called sensational but guys I cannot remember but uh, we will get the details and I will put it in the description box below Thanks for watching this video guys, I really do appreciate it and you know, I appreciate the support and love that I'm getting. Please subscribe to my channel, of course, there'll be more videos coming your way and yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Okay guys, let us thumbs it up. Thanks again once more, bye guys. Mm -hmm.